smarter, faster and delivering better service to the community. This appears to be the result of working partnerships between councils and uniformed organisations. Cambridgeshire Fire and Rescue Service helps manage the Safer Peterborough Partnership, a shared mission where fire officers can assist with anything from unsafe housing to missing persons. Carolyn Sim reports. The team sent to investigate this house is like no other in the country. A fire protection officer, police officer and housing officer are here together. They work for the Safer Peterborough Partnership, a community safety partnership which takes collaborative working to another level. The three officers are shown inside by the Afghan man who lives on the top floor with seven other adults. They quickly gather evidence, checking fire safety and housing standards. It's great to work in partnership with the council, with the housing officer, because we've both got different pieces of legislation, but they actually work hand in hand together. So we're killing two birds with one stone by coming out together. Earlier that morning, the visit was discussed at the Daily Risk Management Meeting, the DRMM. Here, officers from all three organisations come together to discuss priorities for the day. Police are looking for a missing woman. They quickly allocate resources. Firefighters will help with the search, council staff will use their contacts and special PEZ teams, prevention and enforcement services, will investigate during their routine rounds out in the community. It's basically a task and briefing meeting every day so we can change direction to deal with the issues that come up in the community and it actually benefits the community because we're, it is a reactive meeting but we are able to react so much quicker than what we have done in a traditional community safety partnership. Station Commander Carl Bowden now leads the Safer Peterborough Partnership along with Chief Inspector Rob Hill. His community fire safety team have boosted staffing levels in the organisation. You can feel the general positive atmosphere we have around us. We've, we've broken down those cultural barriers and we have one culture that says we all want to pull together to make the best outcomes for those people out there in the community. The Safer Peterborough Partnership works closely with vulnerable people. To avoid multiple visits to their homes, community fire safety officers have expanded their role. In one visit, they can assess all of that person's needs and take action with council or police colleagues back at base. The whole model that we're creating is about making it one person's responsibility across a much broader range of issues and specialisms, policies and legislation so that um, whoever you are, whatever uniform or otherwise you wear, you will resolve that person's situation. We are giving the, the public a better, much better service. And at the end of the day, it's about the person and the welfare of that person. So if you can do it in the smartest way and with the quickest results, everybody's happy. Out in one of the city's fire stations, firefighters work alongside police officers. They share knowledge, skills and resources. Last week, this thermal image camera was used by police to uncover a cannabis factory. Everyone has access to a live cloud-based document called The Box. Firefighters can not only input information at the scene of fires, they can also record hazards they've spotted out in the community. If a build-up of rubbish can be removed before an arsonist will set fire to it, that's a benefit to everybody. Uh, so if we can report things while we're out and about, it's done there and then. For Peterborough's area commander, Melanie Dales, the fire service are delivering an extra level of scrutiny, enhancing the crucial role they already play. This isn't about losing the identity of any one organisation. We're all here to serve the public. How do we do that most efficiently? How do we do that most effectively together? And my firm belief, based on what we've achieved here at Peterborough, is the way we do that is we actually strip away some of the barriers that we make. We streamline the service and we actually deliver it in a much more efficient manner. The Safer Peterborough Partnership is already delivering results. Fly tipping and arson have dropped. It's efficient and effective with a shared mission of keeping the people of Peterborough safe.